What has your occupation been in the past? Singing country music. Country music? Yeah. How long did you do that? All my life. Everybody in the business knows Billy Mize, though not every fan across the country knows who Billy Mize is. Anybody that was coming up during that period of time and had anything to do with any of the record labels that were out here at that time will know Billy Mize. Billy was nice to me when I was young and nobody had any reason to be nice to me. He allowed me to get on stage and get started. Mr. Merle Haggard. Thank you, Billy. I don't know that Nashville really knew where Bakersfield was or what it was all about. And there really was something going on here in Bakersfield. If you look at Nashville in the 1960s, country music was designed for sitting and listening to. In Bakersfield, country music was designed for dancing. Two poles had arisen in this music commercially. Neither one was going to cave into the other. I always thought of him, I must admit, as the one who would go the farthest. Everyone from Bakersfield, Haggard, the Buckhorns, Oscar Whittington, Jelly Sanders, and all the guys that have passed on, was in Billy's band. The record labels expect you to tour constantly, and Billy never wanted that. He wanted to be at home. Every Cinderella story you expect to have the happy ending until some of the things are started going sideways and falling apart. A country musician who feels they want to be part of a music with a past, a present, and a future owes as much to what happened in Bakersfield as Nashville and knows it. When you wake up not being able to use your most precious tool, it's devastating. You get an impaired sense of how much you can really make happen in the world. Unless you're a special kind of guy like Billy Mize.